The, the opportunity in this industry um, in 2012 um, what was unprecedented in my 25 years in this industry. I've never seen anything sort of quite like what it set itself up. You know, the, the infrastructure in, in North America is aging, but at the same time, the supply demand balance in each of our three core businesses is, is shifting, and uh, we're going to need to build new infrastructure from new supply to, to new markets. And it's in all three of our core businesses. We saw opportunities in gas fire generation, uh, as I said, bringing our nuclear plants online, nine solar facilities. And on the oil side, I mean, there's an opportunity for North America to be self-sufficient in oil with the um, onset of, of both growth in Alberta production from, from the oil sands, but as well other places in North America. So those three events occurring simultaneously um, is unprecedented. Um, normally we'd see you know, one of those, uh, those businesses uh, presenting opportunities to us, but this year we saw all three presenting opportunities to us and you know, credit to our employees. I mean, they, they worked hard and then they captured significant opportunities in, in all three of those, those business lines. Counterparties looked at who would build these projects. They looked at TransCanada and our track record and our processes and our procedures, our safety track record, our environmental stewardship track record, and basically came to the conclusion that that's the kind of company that they want to work with. And that's going to be our competitive advantage going forward. We're going to have to hone those skills. We're going to have to build on those skills. And that's what's going to be the base of, of our future. We have to up our game. We have to become better at what we do. We have to understand why the industry had those, those issues um, and make sure that they don't happen again. Do everything in our power to make sure um, that we deliver this product as safely as, as we possibly can. And companies like ours need to be industry leaders, not just for the sake of our companies, but for the sake of our industry. Um, if we don't do that, um, simple that, that we won't be in this business any, any longer. We won't be allowed um, to, uh, to, to do what we've been doing for the last 60 years. They, uh, the concerns that people have is can we do it safely, can we do it reliably, and we have to prove that, that, that we can do that. And that's what this is all about. There's, there's a fair bit of rhetoric around uh, uh, climate change and, and all of those kinds of things, but those aren't the core issues that, that we're talking about about Keystone. What people really want to know about Keystone is can you guys build it safely and reliably um, and, and operate it uh, to a standard that, that's different than, than we've seen in the past? And, and our answer to that is absolutely yes. Yeah, 2012 was, was a trying year for, for our employees. Um, you know, we're, we're under a microscope, um, the increased uh, public scrutiny in, in everything we do. And what I can say is I'm extremely proud of, of how we dealt with every one of those issues in, in, a, in a professional way. The employees just continue to perform day in, day out, uh, under pressure um, in a professional way, sticking to the values of, of, of our corporation. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. I know that they're tired, um, but I also know what motivates them is, is doing what is right. And uh, um, they, they've shown again this year, and, and the results will, would show it. You look at what we were able to accomplish on the year.